Okay, cool. So, um, like human health, eh, quite a actually quite a big chapter lah. We try to I try to cover more like questions and subtopics with you. Okay, so uh, this is the chapter where you learn about diseases and all that. So the easier one for you, you can actually jump to question number two. We shall go to uh this one, page thirteen. Okay, thirteen. Yeah, shall we? Shall we? Um, so the, the very first part of chapter 4 uh, is to talk about uh, infectious and non-infectious disease okay so infections basically mean diseases that can transmit that can pass on to you by pathogens you know bad microorganisms pathogens uh, and the other way non-infectious are diseases that does not transmit lah that is purely due to what you makan la, how you live your life la, uh, maybe parents passed on, you know, genetic factor. So yeah, this is how we differentiate infectious and non-infectious. Okay, so I think the question that I want to do now is for you to differentiate what is infectious and non-infectious diseases. Uh, so yes, you want to know how to differentiate. I think I stay on this page for you. Uh, then you want to sort of categorize them into the correct uh, into the correct box is that okay like like this one okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so like maybe a little bit time for you you want to categorize actually the answer is here lah. it's a very st straightforward thing can you help yourself uh, then we will talk about it okay yeah, like we differentiate so I'm just gonna take on infectious and X on non-infectious then you know the you check uh, infectious is cholera uh, flu uh, tuberculosis uh, H1N1 malaria dengue fever leptospirosis ringworm so those are infectious ah. if you copy exactly from from that part non-infectious we have cancer uh, we have hypertension diabetes cardiovascular disease means heart diseases cardiovascular means like heart problems okay good good okay so you put them down into the the box huh? you're done liao la, I think because you should have tried to categorize and uh, and mark your answer okay we shall go on to the next one what is the term of pathogen and what is the term of vector that means asking for the, the definition uh, from your book anyway uh, pathogen is here bad bad microorganisms okay microorganisms that can cause diseases uh, pathogens um, vector is here vectors are animal that transmit the driver uh, I would say so these are like just straightforward uh, you can copy down pathogens are organisms that cause diseases vectors are animals that pass the pathogens around so that's like the driver of the pathogens okay vector is driver of pathogen like mosquito housefly yeah uh, what is leptospirosis so leptospirosis is uh, uh the the red the p of the red right su niao bing in mandarin uh, the p of the red that consists of the disease then you know they might run around they might pee on something else then if you touch it or you gonna you consume it or whatever like usually we say like the can uh, can drinks uh, you know coca-cola pepsi can drinks uh, because they store in the storeroom for a long time you know rats could be running around and they pee on top of the can and you didn't wash the can and you just then you that's where you get leptospirosis uh. so wash the cans before your use or drink yeah uh, okay definition done everybody we shall get to the next part Okay, so D, uh, it's on the vector uh, part or category. You have to uh, sort of memorize who are the vectors, who are the pathogens. So, dengue fever is from dengue virus. Who is the driver to? But everyone knows that, especially in Malaysia, like who don't know what is dengue, right? So it comes from the mosquito called what mosquito? We need the name, lah, huh? because we have two types of mosquito. Huh? So dengue fever comes from a this mosquito. Uh, the other one is malaria that's called anophilis mosquito anophilis okay cool boom a this is for dengue 
Anopheles is for malaria. Okay, dookie, let's go to the next one. Okay, we have to draw lines to the correct transmission, yeah, shall we? Uh, hi, Chloe, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, like, ringworm, it's a skin problem, by the way, ringworm. Uh, skin problem has to be touchy touchy lah. Touch. Dengue, dengue, it's mosquito, right? So it's under vector. Measles, okay. Uh, measles is a kind of flu, ah. It's a kind of flu. Uh, so flu generally, like, you know, COVID-19 flu, it's all from the air. Okay. Hepatitis. So what's hepatitis? Hepatitis is actually uh, infection on your liver due, due to dirty food and dirty water that you mark. So we have hepatitis B, we have hepatitis A, we have hepatitis C. Those are like uh, dirty food problems uh, that infect your, uh, uh, your liver. Uh, huh? So here you go. That's on food. Okay, huh? Okay. Noise. Next one. Question F. Um, determine whether statement below true or false. Okay, like true or false. The first one. AIDS is a disease can spread through eating together. Like you share a same table huh, with a person who has AIDS. Do you get AIDS by just eating in the same table so of course not lah we all know but just to show you a little bit uh, ADIS is under contact it's on direct contact it has to be a sexual intercourse so AIDS comes from sexual activity it's not like oh we all friend friend we all shake hand we all talk to each other we all sit on table together like makan then you cannot know it's not it's not like that okay so that's a false statement okay so scabies can be infected if sleep in the same bed together so the problem is you don't know what is scabies right okay scabies is actually a skin condition okay skin problem which is infected by like a very small mites mites uh, uh, that actually uh, infested in your skin uh. so yes skin problems you can get by you know touching or using the same uh, fabrics uh, or uh, you know like wearing the same clothing so those are how skin problems are transmitted so it's a true statement uh. okay what is AIDS I forgot <laughs> AIDS is uh, Ai Zi Bing in Mandarin or sexual transmitted disease okay can can okay next one leptospirosis can be spread if you bathe at red feces disposal area this sounds weird right okay I think to translate this to easier terms, it means no, it's not like you take shower at the lorong or behind the restaurant, dirty, dirty, got long gang lorong. No, 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 relax, relax, relax. This means the nearest thing I could think of is waterfall. Some people get uh, leptospirosis from waterfall. Why? Uh? Because the rats might be peeing near the waterfall above you. You know, waterfall comes from mountain, right? So they might pee above the mountain and then the water flow down down then you swim swim down at the waterfall ma. You can uh, from that. Okay? I, the the bathe here means like you mandi la like you play water la not really like mandi mandi in the bathroom, okay? So that's true. That's true. Right? Flu can spread through insects and that fly. <laughs> Other than air hachu hachu what mosquito la Housefly la, uh, what else? Bees la, those can try. Then that's quite scary uh. Of course not. Flu comes from air only, no vector. Okay, <laughs> okay. Like everyone will be dead, right? I thought so too. Okay, uh. Like next one. State the difference between infectious and non-infectious. Okay, this is definition. Infectious and non-infectious. The difference is. Infectious means can can pass on no? can uh can transmit no? huh? uh then oh sorry circle the wrong thing then this is cannot transmit no? 
Okay, so I think we just write the definition. Ah. Just remember keyword can transmit, cannot transmit. Okay, I already have prepared for you, so I just combine into sentence. There you go. Like next one, what is the cause of infectious? And oh, how do you get infectious? Infectious, you get it from <sighs> pathogens, right? So then that will be the other one genetic factor and lifestyle. Yeah, genetic factor and lifestyle. Okay, so ah, uh, uh, so 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 uh, 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 there you go, infectious. Okay, I combine lah, it's caused by pathogen. The other one is caused by genetic factor in lifestyle. Ah, here you go. Uh, if I write the G answer same with H can. Uh, no. Uh, because uh, this is causes a uh, very specific one. Try not to clash uh. But anyway, I, I would say these two questions will not appear at the same one same time. Uh, so don't worry because this is just for sake of exercise. Uh. So uh, look out for the important thing. This is cause and this is the uh, the differences yes differences you can actually write the cause also but because these two appear at the same time i try not to clash oh. you get it right yeah this one one differences can be actually the causes also doesn't matter okay uh what does it mean by true medium medium means like a like a in the like a center person like the air is a medium between you and me how do COVID-19 pass to you when I hurt you, I hurt you? So then the air becomes the medium between you and me to transmit to you. That's the meaning of uh, uh, medium. Uh, okay, like, uh, I think we shall try out. Uh, let me see. Uh. So, uh, of course, uh, this one, I can't go like detail law. I can't because that's going to take a very long time. Like, uh, like uh, 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 you have to go into the details of airborne, uh, 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 waterborne, uh, uh, through contact, vectors and all of the details. So I don't think we can go through that because that's going to take another half an hour. So uh, do some reading on this part. Yeah, we shall actually look at the another sub subtopic, uh, which is called the defense system. If we have time, we go back to the first type of question. Uh. So we go to defense, uh, body defense system. So uh, body defense system, right, means uh, your body has like a strategy to actually help you from not getting sick. Uh. It's called body defense. So we have first line, second line, third line. Okay. So first line. Okay. I know there's many, many things here. You want to swallow them all. It's very difficult. Try to give yourself like a main keywords for each. First line has to be with your skin, uh. skin and mucous membrane mucous membrane okay right and second line has to do with phagocytosis which is white blood cells white blood cells swallowing the bad guy the pathogens third line has to be antibody which is a special weapon to fight the specific because if you have passed through first line second line if you're in the third line that means you're actually quite good leh. as a virus you're quite good leh. We have to use a specialized weapon to kill you. Example. Okay, so keywords. First line has to be your skin and mucous membrane. Second line has to be your phagocytosis in your bloodstream. That's what we say like you swallow. Okay, the process. And third line is actually special weapon by white blood cells. Okay, so there you go. Uh, so let's take a look at the particular questions you want to turn to page 17 okay 17 everybody like question six yeah human are lucky to have two types of uh, body defense mechanism uh, specific defense mechanisms and non-specific yes uh, the first and the second belongs to non-specific means what uh? means uh, i don't care uh, i just kill everyone Whoever comes to the body and does not belong to the body, I just sapu everyone. You might be good, you might be bad. That's not my problem. Okay? No, uh, that's under non-specific. Specific is for third line. Uh. Specific is that, okay, since you're so good, you managed to pass through so many barriers. I need a special weapon to kill you. So it's very specific one. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, so uh, uh, the question says, compare and contrast specific defense and non-specific defense. 
Compare and contrast basically means one similarity and one differences. Okay, one similarity, one differences. Okay, so uh, first, uh, specific basically means third line. Uh, just get yourself uh, clear on that part. Uh, Non-specific is your first line and second line. Uh. Okay, what's the similarity between one, two, and three? First line, second line, third line. The similarity is no matter what line, your job is to prevent you from sick, uh, from protecting your, your owner, uh, your master. Uh. Cry not. So no matter what, first line, second line, third line, your job is to prevent infection. So we want to do like a similarity dot dot. Okay. All right. Next one. Yeah. Uh, differences. Oh, differences a lot. Law. Oh, differences. So basically, specific, right? It's to kill specific pathogens. Okay. Uh, Non-specific, right? Is to kill everyone. You might be a good person, but I'm sorry because uh, I just want to make sure my my owner, my master is safe. So I just want to settle everything. Okay. So differences. Uh, specific is to attack certain. Whereas non-specific is to attack everything. Uh. Okay, dokie. Like next one, ah. Uh. Uh, describe the strategy. What what does it mean by strategy though? Strategy is like, okay, tell me, what's your plan on this war or this fight? So both categories, specific and non-specific, have different strategy. So for specific, right, again, I want to remind you that's your third line. Non-specific is your first and your second line, right? Okay, now, um, that's why I ask you to remember the keyword. Do you remember the keyword? What's the, what's the strategy or what's the keyword for third line? Uh? You see, third line, right? The white blood cells will produce something very specific to kill the microorganisms or to kill the pathogens. That's called antibody. Okay, they will use the special weapon, the sword or the guns. Uh, that's called antibody. That's the, that's the keyword I, I think we should include. Antibody. Okay, for first line, right? What's the keyword again? First line has to do with skin and mucous membrane, something like that, right? Second line has to do with um, uh, uh, has to do with phagocytosis, right? White blood cells are WBC phagocytosis. Okay. Uh. Uh, so, so, so that's why I say it's better to remember the keyword first, then we maybe want to elaborate. Okay, so there you go. For third line, you basically use antibody to destroy first and second line, skin, mucous membrane, uh, and phagocytosis. Uh, those are the keywords. Okay, uh, antibody don't have dash in the middle meh uh, no it's one word uh, antibody is one word uh. Uh, it's all antigen bad uh, no antigen means a, a variety of things that does not belong to your body it's actually including like blood cells like other other group of uh, blood cells you know uh, so to your question not really antigens could be Microorganisms could be bad microorganisms, could be red blood cells, could be white blood, could be other cells, could be maybe sometimes toxic toxins that you ingested or you swallow. Okay, like Joma. Um, question C, shall we? Diagram below shows oh oh okay. Second line defense. Okay lah. Uh, second line, what was the keyword? Phagocytosis. And what is phagocytosis? Okay, I explain one more time, huh? Okay. Phagocytosis is where white blood cells swallow the pathogens. Okay, that's what your second line defense means. They swallow the bad guy and then destroy it. Uh, that's the meaning of phagocytosis. Okay, so uh, 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 question is, state what blood cells responsible in second line. Ah, 
来 ，so easy. What blood cell is responsible? White blood cells. Okay. Good. No problem. Okay. Next one. Explain the role of the blood cells. Hmm. What's the role of the white blood cell? The white blood cells is here to uh, swallow, engulf, and digest. So basically, function. Ah. So we would copy the function, which is exactly this whole thing, everybody. White blood cells engulf. Yeah. Can you? Go ahead. There you go. That's the answer for it. Okay, no problem. Okay, like bomb. So, like next one. What is this? Looks like. Oh, I I saw like the keyword is here. Haha, <laughs> antibody antigen. This must be your third line defense. Third line defense. Okay. Uh, how you know? Uh, that's why I told you to try to remember the keyword as well for each line that helps. So, um, what are they doing here though? Like the question is next page, everybody. So you want to turn to next page. Uh, what is meant by antibody? Okay, definition again. Haha. <laughs> Before we talk about the story, uh, antibody is a protein produced by white blood cells to the bloodstream in response to the antigen. So uh, what is antigen, right? So I told you antigen could be anything. It could be bad guy. It could be toxins from food, spoiled food that you swallow. It could be blood cells from other blood groups, you know, like blood transfusion or blood donation, if you understand that. So uh, Lila, you copy the definition first. Lah. Okay, then. I think the next next part is like to talk about uh to talk about how, how things happen, yeah. So since we're here, like story a bit for you. So what happened is uh when you enter the third line, right, means you're very you've you're very uh a strong pathogen. So your the body have to use a special weapon that is only specific to kill the specific pathogens. So when they find the pathogens, they will produce the antibody. Antibodies sort of like to clump them together. Okay, the, the antibodies will stick to them and make them clump together. Lah. Okay, so when they clump together, the, the pathogens will be swallowed by the. It's like, it's like to chain them together. After you chain them together, you throw to the white blood cell, the white blood cells will whoop, swallow again. Okay, uh, that's actually what happens in third line defense. Uh. Um, so, how does the antibody function? There you go, that's what I'm talking about. First point, because two marks are. Uh. First point comes from here. You want to say the antibody attach and clump them together. Second point, the pathogens will be engulfed by a white blood cell. Um, basically, it's this and this combined. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so, like, we make it into a sentence. So boom, I actually just combine that combine directly. So first point comes to this one, come together, attach to pathogens. Okay, and then number two, engulfed by white blood cells. Uh, okay, you're good. Shall we? I'm gonna switch. Boom, nine. So the next part we come to immunization. Like a quick one to recap for you. We have four types of uh, immunity, okay? So we have uh, separate them into active and passive. So under active immunity, we have natural and artificial. So natural has to be from your own body. Uh, artificial has to be injection. Uh. But nonetheless, active means what? You know, like when we someone say like, well, you're a very active person, uh, means, means you, you carry out a lot of activity. And that means you also, you want it. Like, yeah, I'm a very active person. I want it. I choose to do it. So that's like your own self. Uh. There's two types of own self. The first one is like you really learn from the mistake. You recover from injection, uh, injection blood, infection. So you learn a hard way. Or the other one is someone teach you, your vaccine teach your body. Okay, so when you inject vaccine, right, you're actually injecting the virus, part of the virus into your blood so that the vaccine can teach your white blood cells to fight COVID-19. That's also active because you learn it yourself. You want to fight. So both are under active immunity. Okay, passive is outsource means like comes from uh, something else, not not from yourself. 
the first one natural uh, passive is from mummy from breast milk mother's milk from uh, uh, from the while you are in the in the womb lah, from the blood lah, huh? so it's it's natural because from mummy it's passive because not you want one lah, your mummy give to you one okay the other one is called artificial passive artificial means injection passive means also not you want it so this is called anti-serum anti-serum means you borrow antibody from like animals and then inject it to your body to help you to fight instantly this is like oh, i cannot uh, i cannot really my body not gonna survive so we inject anti-serum to help you out okay so both is passive of course not from your body not from you outsource uh. okay either from animal or either from uh, me uh, this one so there's these two very a famous graph you need to know which is both injection graph okay uh, artificial active immunity and artificial passive immunity so a uh, vaccine graph is like that lor. you have to take two times off you all take two times vaccine right yeah i mean adults uh, take three times and even fourth now so first time may what is covid19 che? never heard of lah really got something like that one may your white blood cell was like you know not convince uh. then we inject the second time way don't play play eh, covid 19 eh. build your immunity then your wipers of the oh, okay, okay okay sorry 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 then once you up to this level right ding, you are safe i mean not totally la we still gonna covid 19 after injection huh okay but at least you don't don't die or at least at least you don't go to hospital not too bad yeah this one is anti-serum like uh, let's say you gonna gonna venom from the snake confirm cannot your body cannot take it so boom one time injection your body goes up maybe tomorrow like eh cannot boom second time eh cannot so you have to keep doing that that's to instantly help lah okay cool so like let's try out some work i think directly question seven everybody okay but after I inject the second dose, I got fever. Uh, that's very normal. That's your body responding to the, to the vaccine. Your body was like, whoa, 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 who's this? Who's this? Why suddenly got this, this bunch of new person coming in? Then your body a bit reacted to it. So that's normal. Lah. Okay. All right. Like based on graph, uh, you need to write the type of immunity, like the title, do you recall? So you need to recognize and write the name. So this is under vaccine. Uh so what's vaccine called vaccine is injection so we call artificial right and vaccine is under active category so it's called artificial active immunity yeah okay so the other one will be anti-serum anti-serum is also injection so it's also artificial but it's under passive category from from animals right not from you outsource huh? so that is called an artificial passive immunity okay cool right there you go okay next one in your opinion why second injection is given uh, why second time why you all take second time first time don't listen ma huh? told you first time covid 19 then your body is like me never heard of yeah never mind let's continue play yeah nee, 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 nee. <laughs> second time bro don't play play you die you know so then your body like okay sorry serious uh, so second time is actually to make sure your body go up to this level to reach immunity level. that means enough of antibody to reach immunity level once you are here then pretty safe huh? okay uh, why second one second one is to make sure you go up to the how do we say uh, okay we say you want to stimulate your white blood cells to produce like enough enough to go up the level so first mark goes to build enough second mark goes to up to the level of immunity okay so there you go sufficient antibody or enough if you think sufficient is too fancy just right enough okay and exceed the immunity level so that you are safe lah. like 
far or that ah Faris, Izudin, Iman, and uh, the the all three siblings living together lah. Iman had chicken box after a week. Faris had chicken box, but not Izudin. Oh, because Izudin had chicken box two years ago, he recovered. And what are the possible explanation? Why? Why? How come? Ah, I thought your three of you live together, should get out together. Why one of your did not? Um, well, your no chicken box. Your only get out one time, right? Um, that's because your body once have. Learn what is chicken box. So Izudin did not get now because Izudin had before and recovered. So after Izudin recovered, right, your body gain natural active immunity. So you won't get now anymore. Then you will think, hey, why some people get now like two times uh, COVID one? Okay, so you see, some most of the viruses or most of the diseases are. Uh, They will mutate lah. You all heard of this thing? You all know COVID nineteen is very crazy in changing and mutating and mutating. So once you once you mutate, right? Your body cannot recognize anymore. Your body like wait, you COVID nine? No, you don't look like the COVID nineteen that I know lah. <laughs> gonna step then you gonna COVID nineteen, right? But chicken pox ah doesn't mutate so much so. Your body still wait. You think I don't remember you? Ah, you chicken pox right? Last time you make me fall. Say you think this time I will lose to you. Ah, no. So chicken pox can be recognized. Doesn't mutate that much. But of course, we're not talking about the mutation for this answer. We are just saying that Izudin gonna be fall. I think Izudin had acquired natural active immunity now. Ah, so this time he is safe. But the two brother will gonna. Okay, so I think ah for smart we say like okay, he had chicken pox before. All right, so therefore he acquired natural active immunity. Ah, there you go. Okay, jump. Okay, is the graph again? Do you recognize the graph? Well, as I said, the two famous graph will be the uh vaccine graph and the anti serum graph. So this is the obviously the vaccine graph lah. Okay. So first question: What contained in vaccine? Do you know, like you all go for vaccination? Do you know what is what is the nurse or the doctor injecting to your body? Do you know, like ah, oh, it looks like transparent water, like mm, water. I can also put put water. Do you know what is inside? Ah, uh, so you know how vaccine works, right? Ah, uh, like what is inside? Vaccine contain antigen obtained from a part or the whole structure of the weak. Wait, are you saying I'm injecting COVID nineteen to my body? Sort of half correct, half wrong. Uh, COVID nineteen is too crazy to inject into your body, so they take a part from the virus. It's a specific protein, ah, into the ah uh, from the virus, then injected into your body. So basically, yeah, you're not injecting medicine. You're injecting the sample of the virus so that your body can learn. Okay, so therefore, what is contained inside? Ah, uh, there, this one, ah. Or from here lah, a part, a blah blah blah, all the way. Okay, ah, so boom. Ah, so remember ah, that's the ingredient of all vaccines. The same, they also take the part of the virus and put it into your body and let your body learn. Okay, like which week the girl obtain the immunity level? Now remember ah, immunity means this line ah. When are you safe? Look at when you go up to the line lah. So that's the. The the nine lah, huh? The nine lah. This one, ping, nine and a half lah. Yeah. Okay. So you want to maybe grab your ruler, draw one straight line down. That's more obvious. Okay. So it's about nine lah. So we can say nine lah. Not up to ten yet lah. So we say nine. Okay. Cool. Uh, can I just write virus only? You mean for this one ah? Cannot or cannot? Because what is contained ah is clearly stated here. Oh, so, uh, so yeah, kind of unfortunately, okay. Um, state the type of immunization. Ah, lah, lah, lah. Yo, I think you wrote the second time now. What is this? Ah, vaccine is under what category? Ah, what type? Ah, what, 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 what immunization? Ah, in it's injection, right? So it's called artificial. Vaccine is you learn yourself, right? That's called active. So artificial active immunity. 
Okay. All right. Next one. Name the okay lah. This one, I think all of y'all know lah. What is the cell that produced the wing? The weapon. The the cell that fights for you. The cell that pulls the sword and go to the wall and fight for your life. Ah, so like who is the W B C white blood cell? Of course. Of course. So I, I sort of managed to touch and go like three like all the subtopics. Of course you still have to read the details, okay? Peace guys. Bye! See you next week. You are welcome.